Madeline Stewart is grabbing headlines this week. She's an 18 year old young lady who is living with Down syndrome, but she's also living out her dream in New York City. Madeline has wanted to model since she was a little girl, and this week she walked the catwalk at New York Fashion Week. Her mom, Roseanne, says she's been struggling with verbal and cognitive limitations for a long time, but after this, she feels the sky's the limit. Madeline's this shining light that shows people that nothing is impossible. This is about inclusion. This is about discrimination. It's about letting people out there with intellectual disabilities or anyone that looks a little bit different feel included in life. Madeline did get a little nervous, but she conquered the cameras, the crowd, and her nerves to model. <laughs> wow, what a girl. Well, if you've ever had the pleasure of meeting someone living with Down syndrome, then you know they are the most genuine, loving people you will ever meet. They sure are, and Down syndrome just isn't perceived as it once was. We're finding more and more these men and women aren't disabled, but more so differently abled, and they're accomplishing more than they or their families ever dreamed possible. Now, the CDC reports one in every 700 babies is diagnosed with Down syndrome. Studies also show that the older the woman is with the time of her childbirth, the higher the odds of her having a baby with Down syndrome. Since 1979, the number of cases has increased by about 30%. And half of babies born with Down syndrome will also have congenital heart defect. Now, you know, it doesn't matter if a person has Down syndrome or really any other developmental disability. They can live a full and happy life. And one organization that's helping them do that is Special Olympics Delaware. Now, I had the opportunity to catch up with one of their athletes who competed in the World Games in California this summer. And despite coming back with an impressive collection of medals, for her, it's not about winning. I got in now. Competing in a sport can do a lot for a young athlete. But for those competitors with a developmental disability, running on a field, stepping on a court, or diving into a pool can mean so much more. I think it's meeting the people because people with disabilities don't normally have the social advantages that you know, they just can't pick up and go out and hang out with their friends. They need somebody to expedite that for them. That's why Karen Shaw decided to get her daughter, Ginger, involved with Special Olympics Delaware. She likes to stay busy, so she's always looking for the next activity to come. Thank goodness Special Olympics has plenty of them, so we take full advantage of all the different sports. And the list of sports Ginger is involved with keeps on growing. From bowling and softball, and swimming and basketball. While Ginger enjoys them all, she seems to excel at one in particular. So why swimming? Well, for one thing, it's a very good safety thing to know when you live near the water. And she just took to it like a fish. <laughs> and I think a lot of it has to do with the sensory issues because people with autism have a lot of sensory issues. They're either overly sensitive or not sensitive enough. And I think the water has just a calming effect. And once you get them in there, it's hard to get them back out. So she just loves, loves swimming. She would swim every day, given the opportunity. This past summer, she traveled to Los Angeles to compete in the Special Olympics World Games, where she represented the United States of America in swimming. Throughout the experience, Ginger was able to stay calm and took in all the games had to offer. I see a lot of people from Finland and China, and I went to their closing ceremonies and opening ceremonies. Mom, on the other hand, well, that's a different story. It was stressful, <laughs> but it was exciting. I mean, you just didn't really know what to expect. I know one, the executive director of Special Olympics sort of gave me a heads up before we went out there. She said, you know, it's gonna be highly competitive out there. <laughs> I said, oh good, thanks for telling me. <laughs> now I'm even more nervous about it. As it turns out, there was nothing to be worried about as Ginger returned home with quite a bit of hardware. Ginger, what did you get this medal for? Freestyle. Freestyle, how about this one? 100 back. And then this one? 200 free. You got them down packed, don't mm -hmm. you? <laughs> but for Ginger, Karen says it isn't about winning. She always looks forward to going, but it's not all about the medals. You know, the Special Olympics oath. You know, if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. So it's not the winning. For her, it's really not the winning. In fact, Special Olympics Delaware offers a lot of activities that take place far away from a playing field or gym. In addition to the athletics, they have social dances, and she took a class 
called Communicate with Confidence, where they learn public speaking with the Toastmasters. And there are lots of different activities that they provide outside of athletics. And Karen says she sees a difference in Ginger at home, one she attributes to Special Olympics Delaware. I think she's more focused because it requires concentration to do these sports. So she's able to stay on task longer when, you know, given the appropriate instructions, she seems to be able to concentrate and get the job done. Well, Ginger certainly got the job done in the pool, but she wasn't the only one who fared well from Delaware. You can see here in a picture, that's Ginger on the left. Now next to her are bowlers Danny Yonker of Milford and Fourier Brown of Wilmington, each won silver medals in the four-man team and doubles bowling events. And then next to them is Ginger's teammate Robin Long of Newark, who captured three gold medals and a fourth place ribbon in swimming. Wow, so that's really great. congratulations to them all. Well, another life-changing diagnosis many children face, autism. Fortunately, there's a group here on Delmarva aiming to help. Up next, learn how the Blue Jean Ball, a fun party with good food, is helping kids heal. Well, some who are living with autism have a difficult time with social skills. Find out how one woman uses theater to help. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.